contested match between all stages and now South Africa getting the reverse result but now time for the cup final in Cape Town it's Fiji against the USA Fiji captained by Kaliono Nasoko and Madison Hughes leading the USA a second consecutive final for the men from the United States having lost out to New Zealand in Dubai a week ago Fiji finished fifth last week in Dubai and now playing amazingly in their first cup final in a South African leg of the sevens since George in 2009 they lost one a sevens title also in George all the way back in 2005 barely believable when you think about their dominance on the world stage and what a pleasure a privilege as always to have Carl Tanana all black sevens legend in commentary with us this whole tournament and now finishing it up in style katie your thoughts on the final that lies ahead well these two teams have proven that i've been the best over the course of this weekend when it's come to the big games i've really shown two very distinct style fiji with their flair and offload skill and ability there on the white on the right hand side madison hughes with the blue of the usa they'll be excited they know they didn't do themselves justice last weekend in dubai and there's going to be a new championship new zealand the throne who's going to stand up and take that cup tonight they are going to have uh, national anthems before the final and we have seen teams qualify for finals in world series competitions losing a game along the way these two have not they dominated their pools yesterday kt and uh, very clinical performances in both their knockout fixtures so far on Sunday. Yeah, they've opened tested, so that's for sure, over the course of this weekend. They say it's not about day one, it's getting to day two, but these teams, as you said, going through unbeaten really shows that they are two teams in top form right now. So the Cape Town Stadium will rise for the playing of the national anthems.
Ladies and gentlemen, let's play rugby. Home of the Brave Day Singles. The Brave Day has been. With the greatest respect to my New Zealand friend sitting next to me, Danny Barrett's try against New Zealand. One of the moments, if not the moment, of the tournament. It, it just made a statement about the confidence oozing through this US, USA side at the moment. Yeah, James Dolman in charge for the final. Yeah, you know, totally right. Look at the respect showing there to the boy. What a moment for him, the Fijians. As always, Cheers. so emotional in their national anthem. God bless Fiji from Nandi to Suva to Altoga. They'll be loving and watching this back on the home island. It's an absolute religion. The game of sevens there. And the Star Spangled Banner, such an iconic anthem for the USA. What will emotion be going through these blokes? This guy here sets the tempo physically, as you just said. He sets the tempo physically, and for Lao Niwa, also instrumental in a lot of what the USA have done. But it is so often about how quickly they can get the ball into the hands of their flyers, Perry Baker and Carlin Isles. Two distinctive styles, as you said, KT. It's a final to cherish in Cape Town and Fiji to kick off. Hitting the way of uh, Thomason, appealing to the referee that there was contact in the air. Yeah, ben Pinkelman doesn't want to get distracted straight off the kickoff. He's just trying to say that he was taking the lifter out, but no one's saying it's competition in the air play on. Has an array of skills for Lao Niwa. He throws in at the lineup. We've seen him put some beautiful grabber quick kicks through for his teammates to chase. Gets it back from the lineup. Madison Hughes. Martin Yosefo away from one. Fiji hassling on defense. Niwa. Thomason got from Pinkelman. And Thomason making a lot of ground. Laterally and now into the hands of Perry Baker and so quickly into his full stride. It is a beautiful sight in sevens. And then Ping for holding on on the ground. Fiji with men over the ball quickly. Unforced error there. For Tito with the, with the knock on. Oh, that's unfortunate for Fiji. Did some beautiful. Sweeping there to Tui Mamba, the man charged and trying to stop this guy. Just used the sideline as a defending. Had two men inside and gave no option for Perry Baker. Good turnover as well from Fiji, but just a knock on puts him in this position. And a promising set piece position it is too for the Six. USA. Hughes gets it wide for Baker quickly. He lines up his man to the outside. That's excellent cover though. To remember the man shadowing him towards touch. And look at that, Perry Baker down already. Big piece of the puzzle for the USA. Limps back to his position. But again, great defense for Tui Mumba. Showed him the outside, and what I love about that, he backed his speed. He is not good, Perry Baker. Time's off the man down. Look at this one-on-one, -on -one. has space to work with. Tui Mamba takes the angle, lowers his shoulder, affects the tackle, takes him out. Excellent defense. And some strain on possibly the longest hamstrings in world rugby. Come on. He's up, tough kid, Perry Baker, we go again. Well, a good attempted steal at the line out. Two wide, handled it well with the loose ball. Masoko. Could he go all the way here? There's a man to his inside. He's not going to need him. Kalioni Nosoko opens the scoring in this Cape Town final for Fiji. Just given the captain's armband this season. And that shows you the reason why Nosoko for a big unit. He can shift. Dummies out, Martin, you'll set for. Go through, keeps his balance. That's a nasty finish from the cap. Truly the most deadly side after breaking the first line of defense in sevens. But the thing is, all the hard work was done on defense. Initially, look at him there, Nasoko. In second, with his offloads just behind his country, Mravovo. I just can't 
work out the physics. The guy's like 120 kgs and can shift. Thomason with a spectacular take. There was some good support in there as well from Pinkelman. Hughes. Miwa. Thomason. Back towards support. Pinkelman is in there. Finding Hughes once again. Danny Barrett, who set the physical standard in the semi final against New Zealand. Miwa. And Baker slipping the first tackle, but now Jerry two wise over the ball. Look at the counter racking coming in from the Americans. Loose pass from Madison Hughes. Barrett. Yosefo back for Barrett. Tackle! They really are getting stuck in defensively, the Fijians as well. So much work rate on defense. Did that drift forward to Perry Baker? No, says the referee. One to beat, and he can't beat him. Brilliant tackle from Jerry Tuai. Well, that's played play. on the ground. That's got to be a penalty, surely. Yeah, keep playing, but not on. It's a knock on anyway for Fiji, but again, the one on one defense from Fiji. This time, that's Jerry Tuai. Nine times out of ten, you give this guy five points when he's got that amount of space. It was a good pass and release. I think it was from Thomason. Perry Baker, meters to work in, in and away, but Jerry Tuai affects a the tackle. There's the knock on. And Kyle, as brilliant as Fiji are on Six. attack, we've already seen two vital tackles made on the, ball in. the USA's strike force, both try saving. Might that be the deciding factor in the final? Lost forward. Not just yet. Lost forward, Lost forward by Fiji. We saw graphic just earlier on the USA having 19 passes compared to Fiji's one and again. Fiji are leading point. five to nil. Pressure on Jerry Tuai from Flau Niua. Crouch. Interesting now, Niua usually a halfback, Five. now he's bounced out into the centers. Set. Hughes gets the quick heel away to Yosefo. Niua, Hughes looping around and it's a gift of a pass. Potitu is the man who made the interception. He got a comfortable head start and not even the def desperate attempts of Danny Barrett can catch him. It's a gift of a try. The USA use this option from line out and scrum with the head. Madison Hughes wrapping around the center. On this occasion, it's Bliao Nia with a read beautifully by Potitu. It was an all or nothing read because if he drops it, he's off with a yellow card. He catches it, reads it beautifully. And Fiji go out to a two-try lead. Wow. Well, the USA forced into chasing the game. There's the wraparound. There's the pass. And there's the intercept. No one in front of him. Villamone Bortitu slides away. And now this US team have to respond. Contestable restart, but Thomason doing wonderful work there. Such an effective side, USA at restarts both on their own and opposition kickoff. Barrett has been kept quiet by the well-marshaled Fijian defense in this final so far. And then an unforced error from Perry Baker. It's another gift of a try. Mothenafangi goes in for Fiji's third after the halftime hooter. So seldom do you see that from Perry Baker. No one around him, just the ball slipping out of his grasp. But it's all about the defensive pressure. There's nowhere to go. They've locked him out. Moth on the tongue. He knows right there. The smile says it all. The third score. And that might be a deadly one for Fiji. We've seen some incredible comebacks in this Cape Town Sevens, but 17 to nil against Fiji. A team who so desperately would love to win here again. 
never won in Cape Town, of course. Last one has been made a healthy lead at halftime over the USA by 17 points to nil. Fiji with a comfortable 17 point lead at half time in the cup final here at the Cape Town Sevens. First time that the USA have played in consecutive cup finals, they have a hill to climb if it's not going to be back to back cup final defeats. Two series wins for them in Las Vegas 2018 and also in London in the 2014 15 season. They need to score first in the second half of that. There can be no doubt. Fiji in fine form and really up for this final. The offloading game continues. They weren't asked to make many passes Six to score points. their three tries in the first half, just two, in fact, to the 25 passes made by the USA. But it was their errors which lead to tries. Yeah, and you can't have those errors against a team such as Fiji in such good form. They're going to kick for the line out just to eke off time on the clock. You do not see this very often from Fiji, but it's the smart play and the right one for mine. Good work on the deck by Mili Dirinanarangi over the top of their ball. Could not be shifted by Niua. Time's on. Sub. Time on. Jerry Tuai. Oh, good read from Pinkelman of the Fiji throw. Martin Yosefo, and it's a poor pass. Chasing the game, it can happen. What's well, funny, Hello, that the that pressure does touch. to players. So they look so up. good against New Zealand, this USA team, so confident in what they were doing, but because Fiji Quite have pressurised them physically, Quite one sub. it's forcing these mistakes on the USA. Sort of went half-half, so didn't he? Martin Yosefo, he's either got to have a go or give it to Perry Baker early, got to have early decisions. Watson. Mesolami Kunabula. Time's on. Replacing Mathena Thangi, who got that last try at the back end of the first half. And getting some time in possession, time on the ball here, Fiji. That's what they love to do. Didn't have a huge amount of possession, but made every single possession count in the first half. Kunabula. And then the captain, Nasoko, with a strong carry. Eating up some time and then going wide through Tuwai and Potitu, and he is away. It's hard to say for the USA fans, but you can't see a way back here. They're now out by more than three converted tries with a kick to come. Second try in the final. For Filimoni for Tito. You see, just going through the hole was Bortito. He got the intercept in the first half and just powers through for that try in the second. And it is a very, very long road for the USA to have any chance. Four and a half minutes is an age.
granted, but they haven't even looked likely in this final. Well, three converted tries, not good enough for the USA. Remember, this come off the back of a mistake in USA. Hands on attack, loose pass. Fiji got enough, they probed that far side and then gave it wide when they found there was space for the guys like Fuji to. There are still only six passes required by Fiji in this final to score four tries. Barely believable. But the pleasing thing for them is the zero. That's where they've got the advantage over the USA. It's been so physically dominant, the USA haven't been able to employ their game plan because they've got no go for it. Palau Niu was standing flat with four guys in front of him. Perry Baker also. Polaniwa. Hans Pinkelman away to his right. Barges through the first tackle, gets away from another. And Pinkelman with the stretch. That is just sheer bloody-minded determination. From Ben Pinkelman to get the first score in this Cape Town Cup final for the US. Well, there is a glimmer of hope now. That's what you want from your captain to stand up in those situations. You're right. Determination. It's exactly what is the hallmark of that score. Absorbs one tackle, brushes off a second. There's another one coming in the form of Jerry Tuwai and powers over Pingleman. Three more of those. Plus a few conversions required. It's not impossible. Offside. Fiji caught offside. Quick to retreat for Launiwa. USA finally getting some possession in the second half. They were starved for the first period of it. Yosefo drops it onto the left boot and a little toe through as well. Wabubu tracking back for Fiji to secure the ball on the ground. And now they've got to look out. Tuwai. Taken out Bottles hard by Fulao Niwa. I was going to say they might come back for that. There's going to be no need. And surely this is the final yep. score that will secure it for Fiji and Cape Town. To add insult to injury, there's uh, going to be a, a yellow card for Fulao Niwa. Point. High tackle by Fulao Niwa. It's what's been highlighted, just hasn't gone their way, but it hasn't been allowed to be the show is 18. It has been pure vintage. Fiji Rugby Sevens in this cup final. Been a very long time between drinks and a cup win in South Africa. But you can't deny this Fijian team on day two here this week, the weekend. A couple of extras added and the captain, Kalioni Nasoko, makes his way off. This was the high tackle, it was around the neck. Yeah, hit Jerry too white and then the offload to Kunavula had a very good run. Tap back on the side of the USA. Isles. Brick Thompson has uh, got away from a couple. Looking for some consolation in the final half a minute of this game. Water unable to. Mayuta, I beg your pardon, unable to find his way through. Now the USA have a penalty. Marks here. Or was it another try? There was a stretch, there'll be a, a yeah, consultation. Please. 
try, no try. We'll check that now, James. Thank you. Pinkelman, it was with the stretcher again. He showed enormous effort to score the USA's only try of the final. Has he got another? Yes, he looks as though he has. Yep. James, when you're back on screen, you can award the try. Thank you. Pinkelman's second try of the final is awarded. Time up on the clock and... One more restart before Fiji can start their celebrations in earnest. Worth remembering, what we mentioned a little earlier, they last won a tournament in South Africa in George 2005, their last final in George 2009. Have never made the final in Cape Town, but now Villimoni Otito thought he was going to kick the ball over the dead ball line. It's not to be. Still they play on. The USA Tackle, keeps fighting to the bitter end. Pinkelman. And then Thompson. Tackle! Can they work it here for okay. Carlin Isles? Lines up one and heads for the outside. Carlin Isles is going to finish this in style for the USA. It's not nearly enough. But yet another thrilling indication of what he brings to the Sevens game. A lovely moment between the two coaches, Mike Friday and Gareth Baber. But this result was done well before this try. Carl and I was just showing why he nearly made the Olympics as in a sprinter for the USA Olympic team. Time is up before the conversion can be attempted and Fiji can celebrate. It's a comprehensive victory in the final. See what it means to their band of supporters. We saw what it meant to the team as they sang their national anthem in preparation for this final. They have been sublime throughout this Cape Town tournament. Unbeaten in the pool stages, they put 50 past France in their opening game defeated Kenya by 38 points to seven, and then were pushed to the limit by England in their final pool game, winning that one by 20 off, by 46 points to seven. Then South Africa, heartbreaking for the local fans. A last second try by Fiji, saw them home against the Blitzbox by 17 points to 12. And now they have been dominant in the final against the USA and take the Cape Town title. 29 points to 15. So Carl Tanana remains with us alongside in the, the commentary position. Some very emotional Fijian players. But they dominated from the start of this final. They capitalized on some uncharacteristic USA mistakes. The USA had been so clinical up to this point, Carl. I think the thing is, they really did their research on this USA team. They would have watched how the USA were physical against New Zealand, and the Fijian team would have highlighted that and thought, right, we're going to go out there and bully the bully. And that's exactly what they did. They took away the Perry Baker factor, was spending a lot of numbers in and around them. They were physical with him early on, I think got into his head a little bit. And in the end, this Fijian team just pounced on the mistakes, as you say, of this USA team. But they can keep their heads held high. Two cup finals in consecutive weekends. There's a lot of steps forward for this country, no doubt. Now, well, first time they've made back-to-back -back finals. They can't be far off their third title on the series. Some final words from Gareth Baber there. A wonderful effort it has been. 
the sun has long gone behind table mountain in the mother city at the conclusion of another wonderful festival of rugby confirmation of the final score and that bronze medal game south africa managing to reverse the result that they suffered against new zealand in the last pool game yesterday evening and fiji dominating the final to win by 29 points to 15. let's listen in camera shot coming to you from the top of signal hill alongside table mountain part of the table mountain reserve another brilliantly organized and attended event here in cape town the home fans disappointed by their team's exit if you can call it that at the semi-final stage it was a tense and tightly contested affair between south africa and fiji but south africa picking themselves up to win the bronze medal and a couple of extra points to go and you mentioned the back-to-back -back finals carl that puts usa top heading to hamilton for the third round of the series and the thing is too it's all about olympic qualifying those first four spots are just so important south africa just outside of that long way to go for sure in this series but the usa who would have thought after two legs they would be on top look at the dhl player tracker for the impact player alamana motunga of samoa sioni molia the uh, new zealand captain justin kadilt up there Jerry Tuai, you just can't keep him out of these kind of performance trackers. Kalioni Nasoko, the Fijian captain as well. And then Connor Braid and Robbie Ferguson of Canada and Scotland, respectively. Let's go down to Novani Bobo with the Fijian coach. Coach, congratulations. It's a special moment. It's in Cape Town. How do you feel? Yeah, obviously it's uh, you know it's been a long time coming here for the Fijians uh, to win in Cape Town, but it's been you know obviously we were disappointed last week that we didn't manage to perform to the levels that we've done this week, and that's what makes me most proud that these boys have done everything for their families back home, um, obviously for the country of Fiji and the Lord as well. A lot of effort has been put in here. Yeah. I mean, there's a special gentleman that are out there. Uh, I mean, the Fijian fans are out here, and it's another fourth win for you guys in South Africa. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? I mean, Fijian fans are everywhere in the world, wherever we travel, and we say a big thank you for all those people who make such an effort to come and support us. Um, but it was good. You know, we've had some battles here this weekend, most, most notably probably South Africa in that semi-final, but um, all credit to the players and the staff that are concerned with our team. They've, they've manned up. Thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed. Well, wonderful words from uh, Gareth Baber, the Fijian coach. Just saying how they felt they'd let themselves down in Dubai, which is a tournament they've traditionally performed very well at. Our HSBC player of the final is Vilimoni Petiti. Very proud of your outfit. Uh, firstly, I want to thank the Lord for the win today. Uh, without him, I could achieve what I achieved today. Uh, I give up the, the glory, the honor to him. What do you think made it so special for you guys, especially the special group of players that you have? Yeah, uh, I think the management for being here with me. Uh, also the boys, they were 
teach me everything that I can achieve what I achieved today. Thank you. Well done and best of luck. Thank you very much. God bless. Well, our player of the final was Vilimoni Botito. And uh, back to Ngobani Bomo with uh, the moment of this Cape Town Sevens event. Uh, the URL mark of excellence uh, will be handed over by Suresh, the governor, uh, as he can hand over to Danny Barrett. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Take us through that semi-final, barnstorming runs down the corner, the big dive at the end. Having fun out here in Cape Town? I love it. Uh, absolutely loved it. I mean, you know, we worked so hard in that semifinal uh, to get where we are now. Uh, you know, we didn't get it done, but, you know, I think that's a mark of what we've put in throughout our entire offseason uh, to come back from, you know, what we did last year in Dubai to make two consecutive finals here. And uh, it, it was just a, a little bit of frustration let out from the last couple of years for us. I mean, what does this mean for the, for the special group that you have, the players, the, the other players who even travel? It's just a stepping stone for us. You know, our, our goal is to be a top four team, uh, you know, hopefully win it if we can. And I think this is a good step for us. I think we've, we've done pretty well, but it's time to, you know, go home, lick our wounds and uh, get after it again. As they say, bam, bam, well done, son. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, it was a wonderful moment for Danny Barrett, that try he scored against New Zealand, which made such a statement the way he